Hey everybody, welcome back to my house, and today we're going to be cooking outside on the Blackstone. I love this because I love cooking on a griddle. So we're going to do a classic bodega sandwich, the chopped cheese. So this sandwich is really simple and fast moving, so we're going to get right into it. First thing I'm going to do is get started with toasting my buns and a little bit of butter. So get that moving around, and I have this side set to low heat because you don't want to burn the buns and they'll toast fairly quickly. And then the other side here, I've got set to like medium to medium high, about three quarters of the way up because that's where I'm gonna get caramelization going on the beef and the onions. So here I've got my hero rolls, get them in a little butter and get them toasting. And then we'll start on the onions. All right, so I'll let those toast. And now we'll get a little more butter down for the onions. So this is just one yellow onion that's chopped up. And I just want, I don't want to, I don't need to get a full caramelization on this. I just want to get a brown on it, get them cooking. So a couple tools I love to have is a large spatula. And here I got a metal bench scraper. It's great to use in conjunction with one another and this helps to clean up the griddle when you're done. So I'm just gonna get these going a little bit. And I'm just trying to get a brown on them. And then you want to use the zones of your blackstone so you can see when it uh, starts to season that there's darker spots, which means those are going to be your hotter spots. The lighter spots around the side are great for pushing things off and keeping them warm without really cooking them much further. So I'll throw a little salt and pepper on these onions just because I like to season everything a little bit. And then I'll just keep moving those around, getting a little color on them before I go in with the beef. Buns are toasted, so I'll get those off. And then I'll move these onions off to the side. I'll kind of keep them over here. Since this has got low heat anyway, I'll push them all the way over to the side of the low heat area because they got color, and that's all I really want. And we'll go in with the ground beef. So this is what makes it a chopped cheese, ground beef. Typically in the bodegas, they'll throw a couple hamburger patties down and chop those up, but since I bought a pound and a quarter of ground chuck, then I'm just gonna put that all right on and then chop that up as I go. And I will season it with a good amount of salt and pepper. And then I'll start chopping. So essentially this is a chopped up hamburger made into a sandwich. Topped with kind of your classic hamburger toppings. Uh, lettuce, tomato, you can do mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. I'll put the cheese on there as well, obviously, since it's a chopped cheese. But I'm gonna keep it simple today with just some mayo, but feel free to add some other toppings if you like. But right here, you just wanna get a good sear. And now, I'll let this sear for a minute or two, chop it up a little more, fold those onions back in and melt the cheese. Now that I've let this brown a little bit, get a little caramelized, I'm gonna introduce those onions back in. So I've already set a little bit aside for my son because he is not an onion fan. So I'm just gonna be making three with what I have left here. So really, onions are cooked. Get a nice brown on some of that ground beef there. And now, I'm gonna turn the heat down to low because all I'm gonna do at this point is just melt that cheese. So what I like to do is, now that I have this meat out, like I said, I'm just doing three portions because I already set some aside, is I'm gonna do Set it together in one kind of mass here, and then I'll divvy out a few sandwich sized portions. And then I'll go in with the cheese. So here I've got just a classic yellow American cheese. I'm gonna do two slices per because this has gotta be good and cheesy, since they do call it the chopped cheese. And you can see why, it's chopped up hamburger with some American cheese. And then, like I said, for the bun, I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of mayo, just because I love mayonnaise. Uh, ketchup and mustard will also work. Whatever you like, you know, this is not a designer sandwich. It's uh, whatever you like in your burger. And while that melts, I'll go ahead and top them with some lettuce and tomato, and then I'll put my sandwich right in here, or my burger meat right in here. All right, you can see the cheese has melted. And now all you have to do is 
use the black zone to your advantage with this high lip. So I kind of pull it right there, get it onto my spatula, and go right in to the bun. Press it down a little bit. There you go. Look at that. There you go. The classic New York bodega sandwich, the chopped cheese. Super quick and easy, works great on a griddle like this. You can feed your whole family in like 10 minutes and it's delicious.